So good morning, Patrick Wickty. Um, game design AD four seven five. Side University Fall twenty twenty. So what we're doing today, what we've been doing, is that we have been working on a text based game. Uh, we might be using um, web for just mainly flexibility in multi multimedia. And I'm also investigating the use of engines like Twine and Renpy. Today, we are going to be using Twine, uh, we're gonna be using Twine to uh, make a structure for a story. And what I'm going to do is that, um, and by the way, let's see here. Um, as in the last PowerPoint, which is online, as is the, as is the lecture. Um, your ideas are due, and I will try to look at those today. And um, now what we need to do is that we need to um, basically get that idea and then get that into a structure. And then once we get that structure in place, then what happens is that we'll get it into a publishable form and we'll put media around it. And then, you know, once we, once we take the content and then put the media to it and maybe do a couple adjustments, we're done. So um, the, the only thing that I think might be confusing for some of you is this is that instead of say like writing by paragraphs, you're going to be writing in, and I mean, you can just have like a couple, couple paragraph, I mean, a couple of sentences, that doesn't have to be a paragraph. I mean, I'm a writer, so I mean, I, I, I go crazy with this stuff, but you know, and then you, you have a beginning, then you have, branches, choices, which then come to a final resolution. As I said, okay, I'll just say it again so everybody is clear. One beginning point, at least four endings, and at least four decision levels. Okay. By the way, one thing that you may not get is that you can, you could possibly get rid of a couple of decision blocks by having one decision maybe going to two places. You get that? You know, so anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. I'll, I'll try to put together um, a little thing. So, okay. So let me tell you what I, I'm actually doing is that I have a project that I'm doing for a guy who's involved with Dubai culture and it's gonna be online in the next couple of weeks. It's called Confinement Spaces. It's a multimedia um, project, which is a narrative, which talks about when the lockdown came you know, you know how like we remember how we were like really totally locked down, you know, it's like really, really couldn't go much of anywhere for you know a few weeks. And, you know, at night you had to stay in with the curfew when they sprayed everything down. Exactly. So during that time, I was pretty much, you know, my my family was pretty much in the apartment, you know, and then basically just like the little complex we were in. So. Um, I did 3D scans of all these areas around and actually I was making movies of them. Some of them are on my Instagram. If you, F, F, you, F, you Instagram stalk me, um, which is okay. I don't mind if you do. Um, some professors do mind, but I, so us. Um, because I, I enjoy seeing your work as well you know, and I like to see how you progress. 
So anyway, what happens is this, is that, um, so what it is, is that, let me, let me, let me draw your diagram. So I did. Kind of my apartment. Let's see how I can see that. Let me pin myself. See how I can see. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, good. So that's my apartment. And and get how to spell park in Arabic. I was in Khalifa. So anyway, and then I had like, you know, three spots that I went to. But then when things relaxed a little bit, I was able to go to the Cultural Foundation. And Louvre Abu Dhabi, which is kind of cool. So, so the thing is, is the way that I, I, I talk about this, is I talk about this and say, this was my first confinement space, and this was my second confinement space. So I'm just telling you how I'm structuring this. And this is actually a multimedia installation. But then, you know when the border opened up again. So this is this is this is what happens here. And um, just one second. So I do something really quick. Oh. All right. It's about there. Okay. And where's my pen? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So then when things opened up, I was able to go out to Vieira. Then And and so basically, I went out to Vieira, and I did a little scan, uh, did some pictures of the clock tower, and then I went to Uma Kowain and I took pictures of the plane. And then I almost went to Al Madam, the ghost, uh, the ghost city. But the thing is, is that I got stuck in the sand and honestly almost died. And um, um, could have. It was 45 degrees and I was stuck in the sand and there was nobody there. So I lose a bad situation. But um, anyway, so this is kind of my story. But Let's talk about it in terms that you would do it. And I'll show you the structure in one. By the way, I love working with a board again. This is great. Okay. So, you know what? I, as I said, I like working with a board again. You know why?
cat pictures. Well, um, <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Let's talk about how this would be structured in something like twine. So actually what I do is I do this. And I'll show you how I did it. I made, instead of starting at my apartment, I made sort of like a central sort of thing. And I called this the, um, the beginning. Okay. The problem with my story is that it doesn't have an end. It's just, it's just, it's just a, it's just a story that talks about my time in, in confinement. So, so what I do is that I really kind of suggest that you go to my apartment. where it all begins. But this, I just kind of give you the introduction. That's the introduction to everything. So, there are two things going on here, where, you know, before, actually this, this, is, this is how my poster for the project. That's actually the graph. That's actually the graphic for my poster, and that's actually the structure. But what I'm going to do is that, for our case, I'm I'm going to give you an entry point, and then actually the other thing I'm going to wind up doing is I'm also going to wind up allowing you to go back to the beginning and go anywhere you want. This is a structural thing. All right, Colossus. So, here's the beginning. Here's the apartment. And then I go down here and I just say, here are the three of the first places that I went is a, I'll just say construction zone, Khalifa, uh, Khalifa Park, and the pool, cart, pool, pool courtyard. And honestly, that's that. So, and then from these, I did two pieces for the Louvre, Louvre Atrium, and then Louvre Roman Room. And I basically said, and here's, here's, here's the thing about structure. I basically only have it so that you can go from my original home to this here, and this goes here, but I have this going up here. And then for the cultural foundation, I also have this thing called the Red Palace room here. I have it so you can go here, 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 but you can only go from on this one place because it's just get way too confusing to have things go all over the place. Okay. So, honestly, that's Abu Dhabi, right? So, to talk about this bigger, you know, I'm talking about these like these three structures. So, and then I'm just going to show you what I did with this, okay? 
in entwine. Then I'll talk about something that you do, okay? I'm just showing you what I'm doing and then I'm going to show you your example. So what happens is that I, for each of these places I went in the Northern Emirates, I only had, um, in this other project, I have a lot of other places, but I'm just, I'm just having one panel. So, Mount Kauai, Amadam. Actually, I did the yard at uh, Asakal Avenue. And where is the third place? Oh, um, here at Clock Tower. So, and I had it so you can go here, 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 here. But, and then I have these so you can go, you can go across to here. So this in itself is kind of a structure. And then I basically have them all so that they go here. So the thing is, is that as you can see, you can begin and start in the Northern Emirates and then you can go down here. This is really my number one node, but the thing is I need this beginning just so I, I just so people would understand. So um, this might seem confusing, but let me show you how it looks in twine. Um, by the way, I'll give out a whole bunch of tutorials on twine today. So, um, so don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I'll give you a bunch of tutorials. Um, let me. Okay. All right. So this is how it looks in twine. And this is, this is really what I want you to construct your map in, okay? And I'll tell you how to export it. But look at this, here's the, here's the beginning, goes down to the apartment, I should have it go back up. Who came in and out? Anyway, that's weird. Oh, okay, it's just Nadia had to. All right, anyway, so I have this beginning and of course all of these are here and they, they bounce back and forth. And you can see there are just a few things down here that I don't have filled out yet. I'll, I will probably finish the narrative today and then uh, finish the narrative today. And the cool thing is that actually, even if we go, even if we go to the web, the great thing about this is the fact that we just pretty much cut and paste and then just do linking. It's, it's fine. So, um, but let me show you how it works. You know, but this is just a really great way to mind map out your story. And it's pretty awesome. So let's start. And so this just talks about um, and by the way, I'm doing a story. I'm doing a story. So it's, this is a, this is a semi fictional version. Uh, 
Oh, I'll reshare. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see now? Okay, cool. All right. So you can see, I'm not going to flip back and forth. That could, that could get confusing, but you can see the same structure is there. And you can see here that this goes out to each of these four. When you write this, you know, you do these double brackets. I'll give you tutorial. I'll give you a ton of tutorials for Twine too. And really to tell you the truth, it's, it's pretty easy. Just to make something linked to something else, you just do these double brackets and it creates a, it creates a, it creates a, it creates another, another bracket and you can just use a bracket. And, Actually, something that is really cool. Let me show you this. I'll do a double bracket. And then I'll just um, try to do a link to the loop. Look at this. It gives you a menu of all your places that you did so the thing is is that you could just say i could i want to go to the loop the roman room and it makes you a link and look what happens um where the wrong yeah look look suddenly there's a thing from the beginning that goes all the way down to the roman room i want to get that I want to get rid of that though. And then I get rid of that. Colossus, it's gone. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So when I click play, I'll have to go over and share that because that's actually in Chrome. This actually outputs in HTML, which is kind of cool which is how we're probably gonna get into the media creation. We're probably gonna do a very minor amount of HTML. Just a tiny bit of code. So, okay. So that's that. So that's, that's, how, that's how you structure this. Um, right. Oops, okay. Let me reopen Twine again. And what was I called? My other thing I called the eternal, yeah, you know, I called it the eternal awesome story. This was my, this was my, um, This was this was my Zork ripoff. Okay. People coming in and out. Probably people getting kicked in, kicked out. So I think one thing that might be better for me is to Let's 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 just go and take these things and by the way I can shift and and you know when I'm talking about you know deci de decision decision levels I'm talking about this So what happens is that by the way you can track, you can, you can drag and click stuff.
So guess what? That's one level. That's two levels. This is three levels. That's four levels of decision. No, it's one, two, three, three levels of decision. And you know, I didn't finish this, right? And I said, I'm just going to But do you get it? So So right now, I have a story that has one, two, three. No, I mean, uh, I say this is one. But this is the first choice level. Two, three, four. And, um, you know, I mean, I was making, um, I was basically starting to make something that could have had, you know, like um, 30 or 40, 30 or 40 de decision branches, you know? I mean, honestly, this story, the way it is, it is structured in my head it's something that probably has about 20 or 30 levels of, of decision to it and probably about three outcomes because I'm one of those strange people who can like, like fit a huge thing in his head and I see the story and I, I, I see the big map. And so, That is, that is, that is, this is a complex version of what I'm looking for you to do. You have your idea, you break it down into choices, into a higher, into a, you know, a, a, a structure of choices. And as I said last week in the other PowerPoint, um, let's, Let's talk about this on the board. Man, I like being back on a board. Not just for cat videos either. But here. it's just like animation. If you think about it. All right. Just like animation, because what do you have in animation? You have your keyframes. You've got your breakdowns, and then you've got your tweens. Not exactly quite. Well, actually, yeah. You know what? Beginning. And okay, and then I assign four layers of choice. And so the thing is, is that, you know, you might be asking, Professor, how do I, how do I break my story down into all these things? By the way, can I see an example? Examples are right there, Habibi. They're all there. You know, they, these are your examples. Plenty of examples. Uh, and I'll get you the uh, tutorials on Twine. So the thing is, is that um, 
say this is three choices. So you go in here, 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 and then, and then the thing is, as I write them, now I'll just say, okay, this could be this or this, right? And the thing is, is that it's good to dream. It's awesome to dream. So in other words, this idea of like, okay, how many of this, how many of that? I said, you know what? You have the general parameters. I think this map is due early next week, I think. It's fine. So, um, and I'll just say this has three. This has, actually this has one. This is a weird one, just because of the fact that it's, it's just narrative. So, and then I'm going to actually go four things here. So this could go here, here. This could there, go there, go there. That goes there. That goes there. This goes there. This goes there. And I mean, you know, I, how I, how can I tell? You know, it's like, well, what? How can I tell any of this, right? Well, you know, it's it's you're just you're just making up your story. You're you're figuring out what the choices are, right? And I can't I can't tell you what that is, you know. And so anyway, and then uh, let's go down here to one, two, three, four, five, six, and. And you know what? I'm going to say that's a death. That's a death. This and this go down to this ending. Or this choice goes down to this ending. And so each of these branches is a set of choices. And that's whoa, okay. That nearly got me. And the thing is, you're saying it's like, Professor, can we see an example? Um, oh, by the way, okay. Sorry. Um, so what I was talking about is that first you have a beginning and then you have these four ends and then you just start filling in your choices and start, you know, saying, okay, what results in what, what results in what, what happens here, what happens there. You know what, do you, do any of you remember and I think I ran, you know what? Yeah, I did run it for us. Did, do any of you remember, you know, the Neil Gaiman video where his son used to set, play the what's next game? You know, that's what this is. You say, what's the beginning? What's the end? And it's like the beginning. What happens next? What happens next? What happens next? And every time you say what happens next, you make a branch. And then really what this is, is that this is how you're creating this, this story game in which, you know, when you lose, oh, by the way, remember, It's fun and frustrating that maybe, and you know what? People hate me when I do this in a game. Oh. 
it's like, you know, it's like Parcheesi or it's like Parcheesi or, or aggravation. You know, there's, there might be choices that just set you back to the beginning or kill you or whatever, you know. Professor Lichty's rule number two, be interesting. Rule number one, have fun. You know what I mean? Be interesting, have fun. Because guess what? You could be in a chemistry degree. Think about that. <laughs> you could be in a chemistry degree. Well, actually, chemistry is a great field, but how much more fun is this than chemistry? Anyway, we get to draw cat pictures. Voila. Okay. So, this is my lecture on structuring interactive game. Uh, in interactive game flow, you know, and uh, unless you're using something like RenP or something like that, honestly, um, I'll give you the, um, I'll give you some tutorials and I'll give you the uh, link for Twine. It's super easy and I want you to, um, Build out your structure, I think, was it till the 28th in Twine. And then by then, we'll figure out whether we're going to finish it in Twine or we will um, go over to Wix and just cut and paste and put media in and just do whatever. So, anyway. So, I miss this. I miss drawing. COVID. Anyway, um, by the way, another thing that's going to happen is that next week, um, the, the school has been um, teaching me how to whiteboard into Zoom on my, um, on my iPad. Let's see if, how, let's see how that works. Okay. So, How's this work for you? You get the idea. Um, it's a new idea and it has some parts to it, but I don't think it's that hard. You know, it's just literally playing what's next. And every once in a while, what's next? You get sent back to the beginning. What's next? You get killed. What's next? You do other things. So I don't know. I, as I keep working with this, I keep having more fun with it, honestly. So I thought this was between, you know what? Between you and me, I thought this was going to be a lot more boring than it is turning out to be. I like that. <laughs> so anyway. Um, okay. But you know, when we don't have the big machines to do the VR stuff, you know, um, what do you do? Anyway, I'm glad I'm able to give this to you, honestly because this is actually pretty fun. All right, are there any big questions? None from Alia. And 
I'll wait for a couple. And I'm going to, let's see. Hmm. No, I got I got to do a better job working on chi. Anyway, okay, awesome. So what happens is that um, on Monday on Sunday, uh, hopefully by then we'll just we'll sit down and we'll uh, be able to start talking about how how to put a. Um, I'll, um, I'll take, I'll, um, I'll take a look at the deadlines. I think what's the deadline for the, okay. Uh, deadline, deadline for the deadline for the deadline for the map. Deadline for the map is, uh, I think this time next time. So I think, I think we're just going to have a lecture and content and that sort of thing on Sunday. And then we get into skinning, you know, we'll start, we'll start populating the, these things, um, in a week. Give you say, give me some time to work this stuff out. Shouldn't take you that long, but I'll get you, um, I'll get you, uh, twine tutorials and the link to twine Two. And you basically just start taking your ideas and start putting them in. I'll try to get, I'll try to look at your ideas today. I got to go meet with communications and um, yeah. Okay. Awesomeness. We're doing some interesting stuff. So um, there are no questions. Then uh, Right. Um, I'll put this uh, up and I'll put this lecture up in uh, teaching materials. You want to go over that and then I'll put the tutorials and the whole twine thing up uh, in teaching materials for the Sioux and then where you go. Um, I think except for Nadia who's using uh, RENP, I just want to see your structure and how you're putting it together in RENP or how you how you're drawing it out. Just Whatever you need to do to get it done, do it. That's it. Okay. Um, I will be broadcasting from Abu Dhabi all next week. And if everything goes in life the way I want, I'll probably be back in Dubai another week after that. So anyway, all right. So. Hope your families are good. And um, continuing to keep things straightened out. And we will see you on Sunday. Some of you I will see tomorrow. Um, preview for animation two. What are we? Oh, animation two. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to be talking about the. Um, advanced animation, some advanced animation methods, and I'll give you a bunch of, uh, I'll give you some tutorials and, and some things. I'm gonna talk about workflow. Um, I started talking about that last time, but I'm gonna get into a lot deeper is that I'm gonna talk about workflow because this is super important. And, um,
So there you go. And um, what I want to do is I definitely want to I definitely want to cut your um, work time if you can. So that's it. All right. Thanks a lot. We will see you tomorrow or on Sunday. And um, that's it. Fantastic. Asalama. Yalla bye. Thank you so much. Have a good day.